All right, so this is uh, lesson number two. If you did not watch lesson number one, click the link in the description. So you find the link that will take you to lesson number one. In uh, lesson number one, I talked about the introduction and the basic things that you need to know when it comes to the indices, okay? So now in this video, our focus will be on the laws of indices. So we're looking at uh, these different laws of uh, indices. So the basic laws of indices that you need to know at your level are multiplication, division, index to index, uh, different bases, common index, neg uh, negative uh, zero fraction index. So these are the laws that you need to consider or to know. So let's try to follow them one by one and see what we need to know and how they work. So let's look at uh, multiplication. So this is multiplication, multiplication. So for multiplication, you, you need to know that huh? when you've got similar bases, okay? So let me say this is example A. Let's say you've got a power power four, and then here times a power a two. So what happens in this case is that uh, you are going to get the base since the base is the same. You get that base, and then you add the powers. So this will simply be equal to a power six. Just like that. So let me just run you through again. When you are multiplying same bases, you can see this is A and this is A. You get that base and then you add the powers because the bases are the same. And when you add the powers, 4 plus 2, you are getting a 6. So this is what uh, you need to know. Another example on the same, let's say B. Let's say you've got... Uh, 4 power 2 times 4 power 3. How do you work out this one? So in this case, this is where you say 4, the base or the bases are the same. You now add the powers. That is 2, or should I say exponents? That is 2 plus uh, a 3. So 2 plus uh, 3 will give us a 5. In this case, our answer is a, a 4 power negative 5. So this is what uh, multiplication does. Let's check out division and see what we're supposed to do on uh, division. All right, so for division, when you've got similar bases, you're dividing similar bases, you subtract the powers. It's opposite of uh, multiplication. For multiplication, we add. For division, we subtract. So let's say this is example A. You've got A and then uh, power, let's say power 2. And then here divide by A power a 4. So how is the answer going to look like? Remember, the bases are the same. Write that base. And since you are dividing, subtract the powers. Okay? And if you want... For more understanding, if you want, you can write this as this. It can be a power 4. You see, it's the same. What is here and what is here, these two things are the same. We are doing what? We are dividing. And this, of course, will give us, uh, let me put it down here. It will give us a power 2 minus a 4, which, of course, will give us a power negative 2. Okay, so the laws of indices, when dividing, you subtract the powers. Let's try to use numbers and see what we're going to get. So we've got 4 power 2 divide by 4 power a 3. So what will happen here is uh, you write the base and then you subtract the powers. So this is a 4 power negative one. So that's it. 
So I'm used, and everybody's used saying powers, calling these as powers. If you watched uh, lesson number one, I talked about what is a power, what is an index, and what is a base. So most of us, we say powers, but they are not powers. These are not powers. They are exponent or index. Okay. Let's go to the next law. We need to move as fast as we can so that we finish all the laws in this video. Okay. All right. So for index to index, you can see index to index or exponent to exponent. This is a situation where when you've got A, power M, and then here power N, you can see this is an index and there's also another index. So when you've got something like this, according to this property or this law, you're supposed to multiply. So this would be M times N. M times the N, which will give us A power M N, like that. So this is what you need to know on this law right here. If you want, let's use the numbers. Let's say you've got this. So to simplify this, you shall just get a 4 power a 6, like this. So this is how this law is uh, applied or operated. Let's go to the next uh, law, which is a uh, different basis, common index. Okay, so this law is very simple, different basis. Uh, okay, so this is different basis, different basis, common index. It's very simple. This is a situation. If you've got uh, A power M times B power M. So this will be equal to A times B. And then you factor out uh, the exponent, which is the M. Because it's common. It's found here and here. It's the same. You can write it outside the brackets and uh, multiply what is inside. That's what this law entails us. So if you want, you can do this. If you've got, uh, let's say you've got 4 power 2 times, and then here maybe 3 power 2. You can do this. 4 times 3, and then here it's a power, power 4. I mean power 2. You just factor out uh, the power, I mean the exponent. You factor it out. And then these will give us a 12. Here we've got a 2, like that. So that's how this works. We end right here on this video. Please remember to watch the next video where I'll be showing you on how to work out zero, negative, and fraction exponent.